Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Yes Typo. This board features Yes's 242 cam rocker, which is more camber in the middle, and then a slightly more aggressive rocker in the nose and the tail. The camber section is gonna give you all the load, pop, snap, and drive, while that rocker section is going to give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. This board's available at 149, 152, 155, 156 wide, 158, 159 wide, 161, and 163 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was overcast skies, wind blowing, dust on crust, some fresh pow, lumpy leftover pow, chopped chunder, ice, firm fast corduroy, basically just a mix of all bad conditions and whatnot, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is your standard run-of-the-mill, middle-of-the-road, all-mountain freestyle flex. Softer tips, stiffer midsection, noticeable amount of torsional flex, key flex point right where the camber meets the rocker, both in the nose and the tail. Nothing mind-blowing here at all. Now, when it comes to stability, for the most part, this is a fairly stable board. When you're cruising a groomer, you don't really get much chatter that resonates back underfoot. And when you get into lumpy ass terrain, the rocker will hit it and either skip above it or send a hard jarring charge back underfoot. That'll pretty much be the only thing you'll feel with this board. Otherwise, like I said, fairly stable board does a great job of just dissipating kinetic energy. The snap on this board is solid and predictable. It feels like a board you've been riding for a hundred days. It doesn't take a lot of effort to load that camber section up and it takes even less to roll back onto that rocker and get spring. You're gonna be able to launch a side hit, cat track gap, ollie over a family of fat skiers, having a family reunion in the middle of the run. You're not gonna have to worry about it. It's not the snappiest deck, it's just consistent and predictable. That carries over to how it hits jumps. This thing can hit small, medium, and large. You don't have to worry about it. So just go in with whatever speed you need to clear it and go for it. Is it gonna be the snappiest thing that's gonna just send you like a rocket ship off the lip? No, but it's gonna get you up in the air and you're not gonna have to worry about it. The nice thing about this board is you got that rocker in the tip and the tail. So you can either roll forward onto the nose or roll back on the tail and woo, you're doing a butter. Or you can be a man and actually pop into it. And when you pop into it, get sideways, you can really press this board and feel it lock and hold and then when you want it to disengage, the camber will take over and give you a little bit of rebound out. So if you like popping 180s into a butter and holding it and then popping back out, it's gonna be fine. That translates to how this thing will jib. It locks into nose and tail presses with relative ease, but it gives you that snap to get off the end of the feature. It's one of those boards that you don't really have to worry about that. When you go sideways, there's just enough give between the bindings for it to cradle the feature perfectly without clapping out. The way I'd sum up jibbing on this board is you must be confident with the basics and if you are, you're not going to have a problem with it. If you're not, well, it's time to learn them. There is a fluid edge to edge power transmission with this board. You just feel it roll from toe to heel back and forth. And then you got that underbite right underfoot, which gives you added grip. So you can ankle steer with this board with ease. Short, tight, quick turns, super easy. Mellow, long carves, not worried about it. And when you lay it over, you get that power from the camber back through the tail to really lay a trench. This board can turn if you know how to turn. Who's this board for? The all around ripper that will only own one board. There's a consistency to this board that's unparalleled. You get on it and you just have a great time. It does everything it sets out to do. It's a true Swiss army knife that can handle it all. And realistically, I didn't need to ride this thing. I just wanted to do a refresher review to keep it in people's minds that they should be looking at it. I love the way this thing rides. It's just that solid. Comparable boards, the Capita Mercury, the Ride Shadow Band, the Karua Auto. Binding recommendations, the Now Select Pro, the Union Force, the K2 Edition. This has been my review of the Yes Typo. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.